to be here today yet again to defend the Palestinian people. People have a right to live in peace, free from attack. Children should be able to sleep through the night without fear of being bombed. Attacking civilians is a crime and there should be no impunity for that crime. We should be afraid about what is happening in Gaza at the moment. It has nothing to do with security. The situation has been quiet recently. We've had talks about negotiations for opening up the borders, movements towards opening up Rafa and helping to boost the economy of Gaza, which really needs it. 30% of the people there have no work. But the process has been halted again. It's got nothing to do with security, nothing to do with peace. It has everything to do with internal politics of Israel. There's an election approaching, the economy's in difficulty, and Netanyahu's lined up with an even more hardline party. So the international community has to act. We have to tackle the ongoing injustices, the increase in illegal settlements. We have to bring down the apartheid wall. And we have to remove the checkpoints, the everyday indignities that people suffer simply to try and earn a living, simply to try and get medical treatment. We have to have a viable state we have to have a Palestinian state. All of that would offer security in the region for all. Jeremy talked about the European Union. We're the largest donor to the Palestinian authorities. We're one of the largest trading partners of Israel. And we should be using that power we need an arms embargo into the area and out of the area. No one should be buying Israeli arms. We should invoke the human rights clause in the association agreement between the European Union and Israel. We should suspend that agreement. And we should trace the money behind the illegal settlements yeah. and actually put a stop to that cash. We have to stand firm. We need a ceasefire, but it's not enough. We need an end to the injustice. We need peace negotiations. We need to see action at the UN when the Palestinian people are there asking for recognition at the end of November. We have to stop the killing, start the peace, and free Palestine. Thank you.